Welcome back to the show. Mm -hmm. and the last time the Green Man and I were on set, you should have seen the comments flow, man. You may think about going green yourself. What? You call this going green? You you see? Oh. The rest of us? Oh. <laughs> Aren't you the odd one out? Suddenly right? I am. <laughs> think about the shampoo you needed to use this morning. I water. can see that coming. <laughs> Just a bit of water, a bit of soap, job done. Hey, man. There you go. Oh, man. Okay, now let's introduce you to the rest of our guests. The rest of the bold yes. dudes, okay? <laughs> now we have the Green Man Loas Country Manager. Matthias Gelber. Uh, of course, uh, we have the CEO of uh, Aqua Filter Malaysia Syndrome Berhata, Ms. Avinash Guni. Thank you. And also the Manufacturing Director. Aqua filter, this is a Raja. Thank you. Morning. Thank you. And it's another uh, truly Malaysian uh, product uh, mm -hmm. that not many people know about Sally. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to highlight things that go mm -hmm. green mm -hmm. in this segment every Monday. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is Aqua filter? Let's start with talking about that. I think, you know, simply putting it, uh, when you look at it from an environmental point of view, this is a product that gives you the ability to turn water that you find anywhere into drinkable water in a fast, easy solution. Oh. Well, anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. I just uh, zapped this out of the uh, tap in the toilet mm -hmm. here in the building mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I've had a couple of nice sips already. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's very tasty. It's, it's very tasty. <laughs> yeah. So basically, this filters out any uh, bacteria or any stuff like that and turns it into clean drinkable water, portable water. So this is a mobile solution uh, that you can even use while you walk around during the day that avoids huge amounts of plastic bottles. Mm -hmm. You know, my experience has been, even though I have my uh, bottle, refillable water bottle with me, you don't usually find in many places uh, um, kind of mineral water that's been supplied where you can refill your water bottle. So this gives you the chance to be mobile anywhere without producing any plastic bottle waste. Okay, so uh, that's not 100% transparent. Yeah. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the center thing is actually the filter itself in the bottle. Yes, yes, maybe you guys can explain yeah, the yeah, details, yeah, but do, uh, yeah. here is actually the, if I oh. make it open, yeah. there's the filter. Yeah. <laughs> there's the filter, there's the filter. So how does it work? And that does not look drinkable. <laughs> I'll surprise you in a moment. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay, I mean, talk to us about mm -hmm. this technology. What it, is it actually? Essentially, what, what we have created uh, is to basically give a solution to create water supply mm -hmm. from sources that cannot be used. Mm -hmm. okay. The aquafilter has, over the course of the last three years, mm -hmm. what we have essentially done is incorporated, developed and uh, commercialized mm -hmm. mobile purification using hollow fiber membrane technology which means essentially what we have here in this module inside mm -hmm. as our second product is a U-filter bottle. Okay. It is designed to remove all waterborne pathogens. Mm. Not just bacteria and parasites, but it will also remove viruses. Mm. And this is the only kind of product in the world at the present moment. Mm -hmm. It is manufactured fully at our factory in Klang. Mm -hmm. It is actually designed for our target market for the military, for the disaster relief, <coughs> for people who need to have access to water solutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not one product. Mm -hmm. We have five versions of it. Mm -hmm. So the first one is we developed this. This is for <coughs> military campaigns, commandos, special forces. The way this works is you just dip it into a river, lake, pond, stream. Dare I say it on air? Even toilet water. Even toilet water. After what you have done. Yeah. Oh! And you just suck it and drink it. Can I just do it in there? <laughs> uh, it doesn't work on your end, I'm sorry. But just to give you an idea, what, uh, what I wanted to show, this is pretty much water that you are not going to drink. As Matai showed you how it works, this is how it works. Would you drink this? Uh, from the color, no. <laughs> is there urine? Sm uh, no, this is mud water, this uh -huh. is river water, this is lake water, and something else. It's a combination of water. Mm. He's doing it, dude. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. Tasty. So, we'll see if he lasts the entire uh. show. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to offer you some, man. He's going to mm. offer you some. Oh, man. That, now, that looks drinkable. It's, it's white. Yeah. Yeah. Now, before you even consider drinking, I must tell you something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I can paint a rosy picture for you by doing a Houdini trick like this. Uh -huh. But we have been internationally accredited all over the world. Uh -huh. We are accredited to the Philippine Army, uh -huh. our own Malaysian Army, uh -huh. Sirim, uh, even the Science and Technology for Defense, which is a testing arm for our military, uh -huh. has accredited and approved the product. So has uh, Australia. Well, we have basically governed the whole world. Uh -huh. So now you may drink. Now I may drink after that. Mm -hmm. okay. You'll find there's no okay. taste okay. or smell. Yeah. You're staying away from me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Drinking water man, not plutonium. I'm, I'm not the one with the green here. You should do it. Okay. Come on, here green man. Here we go. Mini green man. Now tell me, is there any taste or smell? No. Mm. No, didn't smell. Odorless. Oh. It removes odor and taste. Because odor and taste is from parasites that are remaining in the water. Yeah, so water. this has all been removed. So, so tell us about the technology a bit more, right? since you're the mm. manufacturing director. How long does it take basically to produce one of these bottles? Well, uh, normally to produce a bottle is not that uh, long mm. because it's all plastic and also these bottles are all FDA approval. Mm -hmm. The material itself is FDA approval. Mm -hmm. Normally we have, uh, we buy from uh, suppliers like Titan or Petronas. Petronas. Mm -hmm. And uh, manufacturing this is not that, that critical. The only thing is more critical is to manufacture the plastic, membrane. the filter membrane inside. Okay. Filter membrane. That would take us at least uh, about three hours to produce about uh, 3,000 pieces three a day. Hours, 3, yeah. pieces mm -hmm. a day. Mm -hmm. It's quite long for us to produce that because we have to do a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, testing have to be done too. Mm -hmm. every, every single uh, process have to be thoroughly checked before it can uh, ever come out to be a product can be sellable and all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so it's a filter, right? Since it's yes. a filter, what do you feel water in through the small no, no, hole no. as well? No, no. Okay. That is where the water comes out. <coughs> what happens is this the water goes the in at the bottom. Mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Goes the membrane goes in here. In inverted, inverted, inverted. You can see the hole at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. Now that's where the water inlet is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the outlet is through where uh, Matthias and I were sucking through mm -hmm. the nozzle there. Mm -hmm. Actually mm -hmm. at the beginning you have to suck a little bit for the water to move up the filter. Mm -hmm. There's a certain resistance but it's not that huge. But you uh, basically need it to come up before you can actually drink it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as you go along the... Uh, the uh, power that you have to apply to suck it is less and less and mm. it flows easier and easier. Oh, right. cool. So it's a very commercial product. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, is exactly. very commercial. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe a lot of people who are interested in going green, are interested mm -hmm. in going mobile all yeah. the time with their water mm -hmm. supply, would definitely be interested. Mm -hmm. uh, but tell us, uh, this is a made in Malaysia product, 100%. Uh, uh, we've never really heard about it before. How come? Yeah, well, we actually have been doing a lot of R&D over the last couple of years. Uh, we are at a crossroads where we are getting tremendous response to the product overseas. Here it's still, I think, um, we, there, there, I mean, I can't say why, mm -hmm. but commercial retail has never been Aquafilter's main market. Right. Okay. Uh, here, with the issue of the greenness, where Matthias and I talk, with the concept and philosophy we have, mm -hmm. the market we are looking really at, where it really is going to make an impact, on the environment issue is, I will give you an example. Look at the military. Mm -mm. The amount of money that is spent on logistics to deliver a water to them, giving chlorine tablets. This one, you give each soldier one bottle, not a straw. The product lasts at 2,000 liters. So on average, for a person who drinks two or three liters a day, you've got a three-year-old product, mm -hmm. three-year lifespan here. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the saving on logistics. Now, in terms of government budgets and military, Okay, that's fine. But look at the most viable impact. It, it is in disaster relief. Mm. You cannot yeah. avoid that. That's true. If you have, like Thailand, mm -hmm. two months ago, massive disaster, mm -hmm. right on our doorstep, the number of truckloads of mineral water bottles that were sent and container loads. Now that, altruism-wise, it is fine. You have given water. One bottle will last one person one day. What does he do tomorrow? or the day after. So our solution is, I give a disaster su survivor one bottle or one straw. I don't need to look at that particular community of 500 people or 1,000 people for three years. Mm -hmm. But on this aspect here, this is very critical. I'm a commercial product, but look at the ramifications of what I can offer. Each airlift of water bottles 
flew from a Hercules plane. Mm -hmm. It costs about 930,000 ringgit. Mm -hmm. Not counting <coughs> payload cost. How much carbon emissions are there? Mm -hmm. So you take all this into account. If I have a disaster of 30,000 people, mm -hmm. one aircraft, I mean one aircraft for me is enough. I don't need 27 aircraft. Mm -hmm. So the saving to the government is 27 less 1 times 930,000. Nice. That's yes. money. Yes. Mm. But the impact of the bottles mm. remaining on the ground, carbon fuel, all of this, they add up. Someone pays that bill. Yeah. We don't know who. It's, mm. it's a long-term solution, really, and mm. it uh, avoids all the plastic bottle waste. I think the problem is people don't really know about these products yet. I heard the story that the Malaysian government imported something similar from the UK for double or triple the price. And, five uh, times the price. You know, so five times the price. Mm. So, the price. you know, mm. I mean, mm. I think that is as well our whole point mm. of uh, featuring green solutions here in the breakfast show mm -hmm. so that the viewers out there can be aware and then support those Malaysian mm. products as and where appropriate with, mm -hmm. you know, telling their friends or whatever, yeah. or people in the government, mm -hmm. hey, we have a Malaysian solution that's mm -hmm. eco-friendly, mm -hmm. let's go for that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, Matthias, are you going to drink from that pond? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. I basically, that is uh, uh, where I live in Mount Kiara, Sofia Kondo. I just oh. scooped, uh, this is stale oh, water actually, this is stale water, I scooped it up oh. and uh, <laughs> I basically uh, put the filter in and uh, had a nice little uh, drinking session of uh, fresh water, fresh, mm -hmm. water. fresh and crispy yeah. mm. and hijau, okay. I was wearing mean. my flashy hijau, hijau t-shirt as well, <laughs> Signature, so I'm, right? I'm starting to pump it up mm -hmm. a little bit and then mmm. Mm. Nice and tasty. Yummy yeah. stuff. <laughs> you can even put ice cubes in there. Yeah. Ice cubes in there. If you like cold water mm -hmm. and you can't get it, you just put ice cubes in there. Mm -hmm. And you're laughing on So this is like a straw, right? You can technically take this, put it into any toilet bowl and drink this it. Time. This time. This, this is product one. Uh -huh. That's product you want two. to try it out? He's so excited yeah. about it. He's really, yeah. he's really, yeah. you know. Yeah. If you want to try it out, uh. you want to see whether I'm right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at our website and all the demos we have done in Bangladesh, okay. in Pakistan and all. Mm -hmm. But the one key demo that you will find that you'll think I'm a sick man <laughs> is go and look at YouTube at the U filter uh -huh. at Pampanga Manila. Pampanga. Uh, Pampanga. We donated uh -huh. to the flood relief okay. victims uh, through a Malaysian company called Tesla Holdings. Mm -hmm. uh, they bought it, supplied it. I went and distributed the products in November. Okay. So we tried it in the flood water, there's no problem, the river water, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. We had a very mm -hmm. smart Alec guy. <laughs> Say, uh, Mr. Avinash, your product fantastic. Can you drink this water? Mm. So he took me in the alleyway of the village mm. and he pointed down. It was a sewer. He wants oh. to get you bad. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him, are there, uh, is there any factories around? Uh -huh. He said, only one factory. It's a baby factory. Mm. And they produce babies. <laughs> <laughs> so he lifted the sewer grill and he pointed it there. Can you drink this? Mm. I said, hey, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> he went down, he scooped it up, and you saw feces there, you saw dead rats, you know, all of this sort of thing. It smelled awful. Uh -huh. Everyone drank. Mm. And they are still alive. <laughs> 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 because we know what the product's capability for water is. Uh -huh. But over the course of the last four months, I have seen, in conjunction with Matthias, I have seen the applications two steps further mm -hmm. you know and, and I think uh, on the environment side you're fine you buy my product I make money wonderful mm -hmm. I can convert water for people who need it in disaster relief mm -hmm. save money to the aid agency fine mm -hmm. it just happens that there is a, a better benefit as well. mm -hmm. stop bottle water give an alternative okay maybe you don't want to buy my product it's matter mm -hmm. but at least you got to look at what our environment is happening to now it's remember at the end of the day it's your son that's going to live in the environment, right, right. Not, not me anymore. I'm already 51, mm -hmm. so I got to look after my daughter's interest. His mm -hmm. children are below 12. So we, if we can all adopt that line of thought, okay. yes. it's a different world. Wonderful stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. um, well, once again, yeah. there are industries that produce these plastic mm -hmm. bottles. They manufacture bottled water mm. and there's filtered water and there's, I don't know, so many different types of waters I lost mm -hmm. track. So what do you say to these industries now? 
I do not wish to say anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a great way of yeah, putting it. Yeah, I, I put it, and I had a, a, a viewer comment saying, wow, that was a great statement. Mm -hmm. I said last time, you know, we are going through an evolution of society moving to the next level. We realize we cannot continue to destroy the planet and consume all the natural resources beyond our planet's carrying capacity. Mm -hmm. beyond, we need to leave something for future generations, so we need to become more eco-efficient. We can't afford plastic mountains in the middle of the ocean. <coughs> so if you are in a business that destroys the planet and you're making money from that, it's time for you to shift and change. Yes, it's always a commercial consideration. And sometimes the market is still with the old products, but we are shifting more and more to the Lohas lifestyle, lifestyle of health and sustainability, mm -hmm. where the consumer mm -hmm. will as well change the marketplace. Mm -hmm. At the moment, the number of green consumers is still fairly limited, mm -hmm. but that will increase. And then the power of their purchasing mm -hmm. power will put you out of business if you are actually only producing stuff that's not in line with what the planet needs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, uh, apart from uh, governments right, uh, on a uh, disaster relief, is this product for normal consumers? Of and if course. it is, where Especially can you get for it? travelers. Travelers. Look at travelers. I think there are about 76 million people mm -hmm. every year gets a problem with their water when go out any country and all More that. More this year because yes. doomsday tourism. Right. Is so yeah, for them to for them to carry one of the bottle. Mm -hmm. You just take so it with you. Yeah. Okay. Save them. Where 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 do, okay, we where do we get this yeah. product? Well, actually, to be quite blunt with you, we don't have a retail outlet here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We are working with uh, Q Plus in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, for Malaysia, the only way we, we look at it is if people can contact Messiahs. Mm -hmm. uh, because that is, our focus is institutional marketing. Mm -hmm. We are uh, UN registered company as a supplier, probably the only Malaysian company here. Uh, and only one for mobile purification. Mm -hmm. uh, we are registered with the army. So our market and our marketing direction is there. In terms of education, but on an environment impact and on other impacts, I think the best would be for them to contact uh, Matthias and his green team. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, I think this is an opportunity for a retail company out there company that might there. already have a green product range yes. that might <coughs> already sell to the conscious, eco-conscious consumer yeah. for them to pick it up and actually put it on their shelf yeah. and make a deal with you guys to be their retail arm. I have one or two people in mind that I think we can approach. I think, and I think it's works. time for us to, to make it accessible to the wider market out there. I think mm -hmm. your Facebook page is going to be overloaded with people asking <laughs> Exactly. Thank God, I'm not on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not on Facebook. I, I tell my daughter yeah. in Sydney, I said, no, you have one hour a day. <laughs> then yeah. I find she's got the smartphone, the iPhone, the, the S phone. Uh, there you go. There you go. Well, you're going to think of a way to filter that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's 19 years old. Her birthday was five days ago. Let her do it. Okay. Let her on this my team. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> well, anyway, join us on Facebook. Tell us what you think about this product. Mm -hmm. And of course, yes, do contact Matthias if you want to get it. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Green Man, once again, for bringing a fantastic product thank to you. our attention here on Hello One Two. And thank you for all the demos. and. Uh, Would you like know, some water? Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Stephen will send Stephen on a field test. You on a field <laughs> test. Send <laughs> Stephen to the sewer. Yes. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to take another short break. Uh, Azaria is going to cover some very interesting stuff once again. Mm -hmm. uh, let's find out what she's up to. It's and, inside uh, growing up to get a day. Yeah. Growing up to get a day. I have no idea what that's all about. No so idea. that's why we'll check her out. And when we come back, mm -mm. Um, a Grammy Award winning band will be performing in KL. Find out which band and where. Don't go anywhere.